Well, hey, this is Jonathan Dupree with the Executive Everyday Carry YouTube channel. And I just want to say thanks for watching the video. I'm going to share a few things today. I'm going to share my Woolly Mammoth Molar pen and my Arno Bernard Porcupine Mammoth Molar knife. I'm also going to share a new holster that's a deep conceal holster I picked up. I'm still working with it, so I'm not here to show you how fast I can draw with it. I just want to show it and give you some scenarios of where it would come in handy uh, and then also show another setup I've got with a, a holster and, and a, a firearm. So let's just dive right into it. So first, I'm really excited about this. If you haven't visited AfricanCustomKnives.com, I'll put a link to both of these products in the description. I'll actually put a link to everything that I'm going to show you today. But this is my new pen. I love it. This is pretty awesome. I joke and tell everyone this knife and pen combo set is the nicest knife and pen combo set in over 10,000 years because that's about how old uh, it is. What they do is they go to Siberia and they dig up these woolly mammoth tusk fossils uh, and, and they, they, they make the pen and, and knife handles out of them. And I think they're just beautiful. So it comes in this, this leather case, this is the pen. Again, I got this from African Custom Knives. And I'm gonna pull it out. It's a roller ball. But this is, just look how cool this is. This is the, the mammoth molar. It's just a, a really cool pen. The cap is magnetic on this one and they have several different styles, but I, I just, I, I like this, it's really cool. The cap snaps on. Um, I use a lot of journals, so I don't know if you're a journaler or not, but this is my Levenger um, journal that I use. And this is my, my larger one, so I use these rings and I can divide my notes up by the staff meetings, motivational, sales meetings, ideas, uh, gen general notes. I also have some, some pages in here where I can uh, mind map and draw out. So this combo with this pen, I think it's just, it's just cool. It's nice looking. It's different, but this pen is definitely a conversation starter. People will ask you what it is. It writes great. It's a, again, a rollerball. Uh, I'm sure you can get ballpoint as well. And then I have the matching knife. I'm going to stand up just so you can see how I have it. Uh, so it's a small blade. It's, it's probably uh, two and a half inches, maybe. Uh, so here it is on my belt. And I'm going to pull it out of the sheath. This is the sheath that it comes with, which I believe is a, uh, a buffalo hide. I'll find out for sure, and I'll, I'll share that as well in the description. But this is the knife. Look how, how cool and just unique. It looks like a little letter opener. However, I was told by uh, Nathan Renderson, one of the founders of African Custom Knives, that this blade is a great blade for meal prepping. Um, he, in fact, he said his mother uses this knife to cut chicken breast and chop vegetables in, in the kitchen and is always using it. But look at the handle. Just look how cool and pretty that is. It's just a beautiful knife. I've always loved this style of knife. I'm a big guy. Just so you can see, this is a small knife. I mean, it's not big at all, um, but definitely it kind of dips down. It's called the Porcupine Arno Bernard. This is from uh, AfricanCustomKnives.com, and they come with these cool little sheaths. So I just pop it right back in. So that's the first two things, and, and again, uh, I got both those from African Custom Knives. I'm gonna take my jacket off so I can show you the rest of what I've got on. So I still have my zero tolerance uh, knife. I'm not gonna review that, it's my other video. But I'm carrying a different firearm today. It's Louisiana, it's super hot. I'm carrying something a little bit smaller and this is uh, my car PM 45. I love this gun. Uh, I'm carrying this in a high noon holster. Uh, that, and this is a great, I mean, it's a really high quality leather holster. And I'm carrying this at about four o'clock. I still have my Rick Hinderer pin, which again, I did a review on this in my previous video and I'm carrying this today normally I have a Leatherman wave titanium 
but I just threw this in my pocket to have something different to show today. This is small. It's called the Gerber Dime. It's got a pair of pliers on it. Uh, they're not heavy duty by any means, but for anything that you would need as an executive in the business world, it's not like I'm out in the field working on construction or something like that. So I don't, I don't need a heavy duty. I do keep my uh, Leatherman in my car. Uh, this is a little uh, can opener, blade cutter. This side has another little blade. This side, you've got your flathead screw, your Phillips, and a little tiny little file right here. You probably can't see that. I'll... And then this side, you've got a little pair of scissors. And right here, you've got a, a bottle opener. And I just took a little piece of paracord and tied on here so you could leave this hanging out of the end of your pocket if you wanted to grab it and pull it out quickly or just get an extra grip on it. This is the Gerber Dime. So I'm carrying that today. And then I have a new holster. Uh, oh, and with my car, I carry right here on my hip an extra two uh, magazines. I'll, I'll tell you something about this gun that's pretty pretty cool um, is how small it is I don't know if you can tell I've got uh, big hands but this is a slim gun and and it just feels good in your hand gripping it I'm, I'm gonna be honest I love carrying my Glock 19 I've carried that gun every day for the last year and I will consistently carry that gun but this is just a great, if you need a low profile gun that's easy to conceal, this is a, a, a great uh, firearm. And I carry a couple extra magazines as well. So I picked up this new holster and I'm going to share, share, this is it right here. And it looks like a phone case because it is. This is a phone case. I'm making a video on my phone. Normally it would be here. And then in my pocket is the rest of the holster. And so this is attached to my belt. I'm going to pull it out slowly so I can show you. And so in it, I've got a Kember solo carry. Now, all weekend I practiced with this. And I carry, let's talk about the holster for a minute. The website is universalholsters.com. And I met this guy at a gun show and watched him how easy he drew multiple guns. And I picked this holster up for about 80 bucks, the case and the holster, everything together. And, and this weekend I played with it and I had my full size 1911 in here. No problems, easy to draw. It did print slightly in my pocket, but it really just kind of looked like something was in my pocket. The gun didn't print. You just saw the, the, the muzzle of the gun a little bit. But it looked like maybe I had some keys in my pocket or something like that. It wasn't bad at all. My Glock 19 fit in here with a RMR a red dot sight on it. Um, my car fit in here. Uh, Kimber Solo. That's why it's called a universal holster. They have right and left hand. This is what it looks like with the gun in. So when you draw, all I'm doing is grabbing this holster and pulling it up and bending it back like this. That's it. So my hand comes right here and I'm able to pull this gun out. Now it does take a little practice. I did put my revolver in here as well. I've tried every kind of firearm uh, in here that I owned just playing with it. Um, but this is a great deep conceal. There are times in Louisiana it's so hot that I don't want to wear a blazer. I'm wearing a blazer today because I'm still carrying a, a gun and I had to conceal it. Although I thought about open carry with a beautiful 1911 and a beautiful holster as an executive, I think you could get away with it, especially down south. But if you need to be uh, conceal a gun and you don't want to carry a little pocket gun, um, this holster might be a great combo for you. I wore it yesterday with nothing else and uh, I wore a dress shirt like this tucked in with a with, uh, uh, dress pants you never even saw you couldn't even tell I had this on so if you need to to deep conceal a 
larger firearm, you could do that with this holster. So again, it, and it just slips right down here. And I didn't have a jacket on and my secretary's like, where's your gun? You don't have your gun today? Because she knows I carry every day. Uh, and that was the guy's motto with his holster. His ho motto was, keep your pants up and your gun on. Always carry. So this is it. I mean, this is, it, 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 I can adjust it slightly to get it over here. And if you're looking, you might see right here, but it just looks like I have some keys in my pocket. So to draw, I simply, this hand comes in and pulls my, my, my waist, my pants away. This hand grabs the holster, pulls up, and now I draw my fire off. So again, I'm here, here, here. And it's an easy motion. Uh, I will say I'm not 100% comfortable with it yet. That's why I'm still carrying, uh, why I threw my car on today. Because I'm still practicing, but I, I, I'm carrying the gun. I'm not carrying this one loaded, um, but I'm carrying it so I can practice, break in the holster, and at the same time, practice with it enough. So I just wanna share those, those, those few items, uh, the, the car, uh, PM45, and the high noon holster. Again, this is just a great combo um, when you wanna go low pri profile and carry uh, a larger caliber. And then my, uh, uh, Mammoth Molar uh, Pen combo set, along with uh, the uh, Arno Bernard Porcupine in the, the Mammoth Molar. They've got some really cool knives. I'm getting one made right now, and it's by a guy named Rick Hinder. No, I'm sorry, that's my pen. It's uh, JD. I'm going to say his last name wrong. Van, J.D. Vandeventer, I believe is how you pronounce it. But it's mammoth molar and meteorite, which is really cool. And, and it's a it's a uh, folding knife. Uh, it's, it's pretty neat. So that won't be, I'll have it in December and I'll share it. But just thought I would share those uh, those items with you. I hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. I was going to try to find cool things that I like, that I use, that I carry. Um, to, to share with you. Next video review I'm going to do is on my Go Ruck pack, and this is it. And this, I love this pack. Um, I'm not going to review it right now, but one of the cool things about it is in this back panel right here, I've got a uh, Spartan ballistic uh, panel in here. It's a super lightweight, super easy way to carry. Um, you now, if you find yourself in an active shooting situation, you have your pack, you have your, your laptop in here. I carry a MacBook Air. And you literally can grab this bag and put it on the front of you and you're protecting your vital organs uh, with a ballistic panel that is super lightweight. I'm going to share that and review that in my next video.